Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, all the subscribers. Make sure to subscribe, we're trying to hit 50,000 until the end of the year, until the end of 2023. So make sure to subscribe and let's get going guys. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the Tornado Marine Flieger, the event tornado that a lot of people were actually complaining that uh, before, on the when you uh, basically before we get the aircraft, uh, he had kind of a ground radar that that you could actually lock on any tanks and basically anything that you want, right? Aircraft, tanks, AA systems, ships, everything. And they actually removed that and you only can basically lock on to ships right now. And I wanted to actually make a video about uh, this, okay? So uh, I have here in my, uh, in my eyes over here, I am not going to show this on the screen because I think it's copyrighted, so I'm just going to talk about it, uh, which is the Panavia Tornado uh, book um, from Andy Evans. It is not, well, I don't know how precise these books are, but still uh, it is a source of information that helps us understand a little bit of the tornado capabilities it is very very hard to actually find information especially about this radar i think it's very much still classified a lot of the things uh, so it is difficult to find like open source information or just unclassified information in general right and uh, by the way he actually writes about the radar the actual radar is the literally the one of the first things that he talked about it in the in the book, he tells us that there is many many modes with this radar. Uh, the main thing, especially, is that ground radars properly gr proper ground radars are not added to the game yet. Not even for helicopters, even though they can detect targets and stuff. Uh, the ground mapping radars and stuff like that they are not added. Uh, a, a radar that can actually map up basically a, a part of the ground that it, the, the aircraft is seen or something like that that it can actually be used for avoidance of you know any type of you know obstacle in front of the aircraft or something like that uh, we don't have that yet uh, many aircraft could have that in the game uh, like the a4 like the vegan the aj37 right um, the tornado now and some others um, the buccaneer many many others right uh, but right now we don't have that yet. So yeah, we kind of have to give them. At the same time, we kind of have to complain a little bit because why we don't have that yet. But also like, it's not going to be fully introduced until we have that because it is going to work in a weird way. It's going to detect targets basically in a code kind of situation that. Uh, they actually say, like, in a code, it will be like, for example, ship's detection, yes. And not like a proper modeled ground radar, right? So we kind of have to give them kind of a little bit of a... Cut some slack for, for guiding. And also complain a little bit, because why we don't have the, the ground radars yet, right? We should have proper modeled ground radars. Uh, together with the detection. So that's the first thing, okay? We don't have the properly modeled ground radars. The second thing is that the tornado itself, it is not an aircraft that it was meant to be detecting ground targets like a 2020 helicopter, okay? It's not as precise as that in the radar department. Uh, so yeah, technically it can detect ground targets, but it depends on the way that you fly, it depends on many, many things. So on the book, he says that he has many modes of the radar. We have a ground standby mode, which basically means that it's not transmitting anything. And once you are airborne, you actually turn the radar on. Um, the first mode that he's talking about is ground mapping. And it's basically uh, the way that uh, the, the, the radar will just map the ground and it has four uh, sub modes for it, for it so depending on like uh, the way that it wants to actually uh, basically detect the ground so for example it can have a normal search uh, which is basically just going to have a general picture of the terrain then it has a ground map pencil mode that it will basically have a narrow search uh, like a pencil 
on the, the front of the aircraft. Then he has a ground map wide mode that he has just one bar of azimuth uh, to actually make it uh, easier to actually see basically obstacles and other things. And also ground map or narrow scans that uh, depending on uh, the way that the aircraft is, is another one bar azimuth sector as well. So yeah, and we even have the one bar side counter mapping which eliminates everything below the aircraft. So it's basically a mode to just, you know, make sure that the radar is not looking um, at the ground and actually looking forward and to see if there is anything else uh, basically that you're going to crash into, right? You have an air-to-ground mode, uh, air-to-ground ranging mode that will basically uh, see the range to the ground and actually make calculations for using the CCAP and CCRP. Uh, you have the air-to-air -air tracking, which is the mode for actually tracking aircraft, and it gives the HUD uh, everything that it needs to actually track a target and uh, basically calculate the bullet drop for a cannon shot or something like that. So, yeah, it has many, many modes, but none of these modes are actually made for finding ground targets. Uh, it can be used for that, but they are supposed to be mapping the ground. That's the main thing. Together with, I mean, remember, the Tornado has two radars. It has a ground mapping radar, and it has uh, basically another radar which is meant to just look at the ground and make sure you don't crash at all times. So, yeah, with that other radar, uh, it actually, uh, which is the terrain following radar, right, the TFR, um, it is the radar that is actually made for you to not crash and use the autopilot to just find fly uh, hands off the controls, right? And then you have the ground mapping radar, the GM radar, which is um, the radar that, that I told you guys about all these modes that it can actually be used, okay? So remember, this is not meant for be tracking targets, even though it can, it's not like the objective is to actually map the ground ahead of the aircraft. That's the main objective. But saying that uh, with the information that I have available, as I said, it is hard to find information, properly inf proper information about these aircraft beyond some books. Uh, it says that basically you can track targets, but they have to be big targets and you have to fly in a certain way sometimes to actually know how big the target is and other things. So, for example, um, a ship it's a very lar large target and also a ship is flying in the middle of nowhere. So it's flying in the middle of the ocean. So it's a very easy target to see for a, a radar such as this. Um, these are very old radars, guys. So yeah, ships are very easy. Bridges, um, buildings, anything like that that it's actually big. Uh, the ground mapping radar will actually map the ground ahead. And you, you the, the pilot or special, not the pilot, but the, na the navigator, right? The weapon systems officer or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the second guy on the back will actually interpret that image uh, that the radar is sending. So it's not a, a, like a direct target that the radar is seeing. It's mu very much like the vegan radar on the CS. It will see basically an image and he has to interpret that image to actually take a look on what that is. So for example, um, a, a ship will appear on the radar as a brighter point on the middle of the sea you know so the uh, the navigator will see that and say well yeah it looks like a ship so it's probably a ship so let's attack that for example so yeah it's how it's kind of how it works right um, of course it can see trees it can see smaller targets but you won't be able to actually di di differentiate what it is a tank, what it is uh, an aircraft landed, or anything like that, right? The radar is not that precise. So even though it technically can see the tank, especially if the tank is an open ground or something like that, the radar probably won't notice that that is a tank or a not a tank, or if that is a building or a tree or something like that. It will be a lot of images on the same kind of thing, and a building and a tank will be kind of very similar to each other. You can be, maybe if the tank is moving, you can kind of see that it's something, there is something there that is moving or something like that. But it's not precise enough to actually look at a target 
and see, oh, that's a target. It's not like the sea with many, many targets uh, on a cluster that you can actually see in the middle of this the, the sea, you know, uh, or the ocean, right? In the middle of the ocean, you will see like five or six big targets that you can actually see and um, realize that it's actually a ship, right? Um, on a ground level uh, for tanks and stuff, you will have many, many things on the sides of that thing, uh, on the tank, uh, and the, basically the navigator won't be able to actually uh, interpret that thing precisely enough to actually say that it, it's a tank or a bridge or something like that, that it's very small, right? So that's why they actually remove it, uh, at least in my opinion, I think that's why. Uh, it's not realistic enough, even though we technically can detect targets such as that, it's not realistic enough for you to actually detect it. Of course, there are bugs. Uh, you are not supposed to be detecting aircraft and other things that are flying, uh, or not flying, but um, that are landed. But still, um, it's the way that it's coded in the game, and it's a bug. It's supposed to be a little bit more realistic. The ground raiders are, no are not by any means working as they are in real life in the game so don't expect it to be very very much realistic until they actually add the ground raiders the proper ground raiders okay guys so basically that's my point um it is realistic that a, a raider such as the tornadoes raider cannot detect a tank properly even though it can technically the navigator won't be able to actually differentiate from the other things maybe if it's a very large tank like a mouse on the middle of a very big field then you will see that it's a tank on a visual approach and then you can confirm that the what you are seeing on the radar is an actual tank but that's just not not how in real life kind of situation would work right so yeah even though it can detect ground targets they need to be big they need to be very easy to see and they are not like a helicopter ground radar from 2020 2010 which can even say what materials that detection are made of uh, what you are detecting uh, you know are made of so it's completely different so don't expect this aircraft to actually detect tanks in the game but it will probably once we get ground raiders detect bigger targets like that and you have an image on the radar and you can actually interpret that as seeing a, a ship or something like that and then you would be able to lock and do something about it okay guys uh so yeah but there are many many things that are work in progress so keep that in mind uh, we are getting there we need these type of missiles and radars and stuff but we are getting there so it's the first one that we see with these anti-ship capabilities we are going to see more of them bvvd already confirmed uh, anti-radiation he also said on the Russian stream that are they are considering and uh, making things available so they they actually can make those uh, things happen so new stuff like this will take its time to actually be working properly okay guys so take take a break of complaining a little bit about gaijin because i think it's yeah it's unsatisfying that they removed the ground radar as it was before, but that was unrealistic. So, yeah, it was just a bug, you know. So it's not that big of a deal. They're not nerfing it because they have a conspiracy against German tech tree. No, it's just because it was a bug and was not supposed to be doing that. Okay, guys? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I tried to give as much information as I can, but as I said, it is hard to find information about, especially these very modern raiders. So, yeah, um, take this with a grain of salt, but still, uh, may, maybe try to do your own research. Yeah, it helps a lot. Uh, the more people learn about this, the more we have information to complain about, <laughs> right? So, yeah, make sure to subscribe, and I see you guys on the next one. So, bye, guys. See you.